space coconut. You know, I had like a whole bunch of different ideas about what I could do um, today. And, you know, I just didn't actually get around to doing any of it. I uh, recorded and edited uh, Monday's video, so that's up and ready. But this, it's 1147, and I don't have tomorrow's video up ready, so that's what we're doing right now. The interesting thing about Dead by Daylight is that, well, I mean, any any game that is based around matches, right? You can just record a match, and if it's good, you can put it up. If it's bad, you can, uh, you know, trash it. If you have a whole bunch of different clips from those matches, you can edit those together and make a highlight reel. And for games like Destiny, Warframe, Skyrim, all of those things, you have to play for hours and hours and hours to get the same kind of um, to get the same kind of thing uh, for. Um, for it. If you notice, uh, if you've looked up Destiny 2 stuff, there's no gameplay. All of it is information. It's how to get this gun, how to do this quest, maybe highlight reels of PvP stuff, um, what this gun does, what that gun does, you know, just information upon information, and then all of it has a background of uh, gameplay. But you're not going to find um, um, any videos solely of a match. Well, I mean, you might, but it's not going to be that interesting, right? I mean, if you're like me, it, they all look the same. So the interesting... So I'm in an interesting situation here. The only way to do videos for Destiny is to play a, an absurd amount of Destiny. And I'm at like gear score 908 or something like that. And apparently you can crawl up uh, and grind up um, to 950 and then... You can do raids and stuff, but and then after that you do PvP, but I am just abysmal at PvP. I, I don't even want to try and go into it. It's going to be awful. Maybe I'll do that next Sunday. We'll see how I like it. But I don't have any guns that I'd be confident in using up there because my aim is just garbage. But anyway, the amount of information that I know about, Dead by De uh, about uh, Destiny is pretty minimal. There's a lot of questions that I still have, and there's a lot of things that I had to look up. And um, even if I did information on, like, a, an informational Destiny 2 video, I'm not really interested in watching it. I wouldn't watch it myself, you know? When I rewatch some um, gameplay from Dead by Daylight, sometimes I'll get, you know, uh, uh, involved in the match all over again from watching it, and I have to stop myself and redo what I was doing. But they're interesting to watch. And the same can't be said for um, Destiny 2. So, I mean, I'm sorry that I'm using it for the background here, but I mean, that's what I did, you know? And the, the other interesting thing is, is like you can spend, you know, hours playing the game and have nothing to show for it at the end. You know, no interesting footage. You might have a gun here or there, but the way it's set up, it's meant for people to just grind like crazy. And it doesn't make good videos. I know I talked about this before, but we're just kind of having a chat today. So it kind of leads me into Outer Worlds. So thankfully, Outer Worlds sounds like it's not a sandbox like Skyrim is. Although I kind of wish it was, I'm kind of glad that it's not. Um, it's going to be like a roller coaster. You follow the tracks, you go in order to the areas that you're supposed to go to in order. It's a very linear story from what I understand. And it's going to be fine um, to make videos with that. You know, and I have to decide, do I want to put the entire gameplay up or are we going to do it like piece by piece, quest by quest? Um, I don't know yet. I know I'm going to play a stupid amount of it. Um, hopefully I don't get too sidetracked with um, like the side missions or gearing up or crafting. If crafting's in here, that's going to be a problem because I love crafting. Um, that's something I really, really enjoyed in Fallout 4. But so, you know, there isn't a point to today's video. So I'm really kind of sorry about that. Today is... <sighs> I didn't really... I don't know. I, I spent a lot of time kind of letting go of um, Dead by Daylight, just 
Letting go of all of the stuff that frustrated me about the game. I played a quick match um, for Monday's video, but I only played one match. And um, I didn't feel like playing more. And so, I mean, I'm going to keep playing Dead by Daylight. I enjoy the game, but it came to a point where I had to take a break. And that's what this kind of is. It's a chat. And uh, I took a break, uh, at least from it. I do have a little problem, though. Outer Worlds comes out on the 25th. The, um, the archives and all of that comes out. Well, I guess it's not too much of a problem. I don't really want to get very far, and I think the Hag's Hand is as far as I need to get for the, in the Battle Pass, so that's okay. But uh, in, a twi in a Twitter response, uh, Polyester responded to somebody asking about the length of the grind, and he did some math, and he said it's basically 15 matches a day to finish the Battle Pass. And I don't know about you, but 15 matches a day for 70 days does not sound like 110 hours. It does not. So I had to um, take a step back because of all of this. And if I grind it as much as I think I might end up grinding it because the core gameplay is an issue and it's frustrating for many, many people for many different reasons. Um, it just would have gotten to be a chore. I wouldn't have enjoyed it. You know, all the streamers and the people who play it like every single day, several, several matches. Um, I don't know how they do it. Which is also, you know, why we're doing this sort of video on Sundays now. You know, so I get a break and so I don't get burnt out and all that. But unfortunately, I feel like these Sunday videos are going to be pretty boring. But I mean, it's us hanging out. We're having a chat. I'm just talking to you. But let me know what you think about it, because I don't know. You know, um, next week, I'm supposed to um, do the, um, you know, a few videos a week. I don't know if I can bring myself to do it. Although doing daily, okay, al although doing only a few videos a week may improve the quality of the videos, like I'd have to think up a idea, write a script, blah, 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 do that stuff. I've done a, d a video every single day for over a year and I've never missed a day, even when I went into the hospital. And I, part of me doesn't want to break that streak, you know? It's the only thing that I've ever been consistent on in my entire life. And I kind of don't want to break the streak. So, I mean, I, I know I'm going to end up doing whatever I want, you know. You guys encourage me to do that, but the truth is I don't know. I would like to make better videos, but I just don't have the time. In order to take the time, maybe I should take multiple days to make a better video. But I don't know. Actually, that does sound like a better idea when I put it that way, doesn't it? Also... Um, I'm going to link to a video that I made um, a very, very long time ago uh, in, in the description. And I want you to let me know what you think about that video. Um, when I was in the Marine Corps um, and I had my laptop and I, I saw an anime music video. It was amazing. I learned how to edit video. That's where I learned how to do this stuff. And um, I started making music videos from um, video CGI and anime and all of that stuff. And I would make music videos like that. So my question is, after watching the video that I'm going to link to, would you like to see more videos like that? More like music videos of, it's basically just a highlight reel, you know, nothing fancy or spectacular, but yeah, let me know what you think. I'm going to go watch it again because I enjoy watching it. Actually, I have two. Now that I think about it, I have two music videos. So I'll link both of those in the description watch those, and then come back here and let me know if you'd like to see more videos like that. And uh, if you do, uh, go ahead and comment a link to a song that you'd like to for me to do that with. And uh, I'll play enough to get the uh, footage for it and we'll, or I can take clips from what I have already, you know, who knows. But yeah, I might make another music video if that's something you guys might be interested in, because I actually liked making those videos. They take quite a bit of time to make, so 
I don't know how that would work, but yeah, it's something that I did. So I think I've rambled on enough. Um, I've bored you long enough. Um, I'm sorry about the gameplay. I'm sorry about the discussions. And even though we're talking about this sort of thing, I think it's important to take a step back. And that's what this is all about. And uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then there's all the all the family stuff that's going on. I kind of forgot about that. Um, and the funeral's on Thursday. So I have to try and figure out if I'm going to go or not. My brother isn't going to be able to go. My sister's having trouble going. A lot of people are going to go in a van, apparently. It's an eight hour drive um, <clears throat> to Arizona. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to go because she was, my aunt was here uh, visiting a few months before everybody found out that she was really, really sick. And, um, you know, it was nice. I had a little conversation with her and, you know, unfortunately I came in to work with a video when, when that happened and, you know, there's a little regret there, but, um, I would like to remember her that way instead of laying in a box, you know? So, I mean, I'm fighting this decision I'm figuring out this decision. I don't really, I, don't, I really don't want to go, but part of me feels like if I don't go, I'm going to regret it. And like her family will hold it against me if I don't. And so I don't know what to do. So, you know, there's that on top of everything else. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry to leave it on such a downer, but we all have lives. We all have stuff going on and, you know, it's my turn to have to deal with some stuff. So I appreciate you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that you guys are here. Um, listening to me ramble watching some boring gameplay you know i hopefully i get better at this and i can make some better quality videos some videos that you know you guys will really enjoy watching or get something out of so that is my goal to make quality stuff on a regular basis so yeah i've talked long enough i appreciate you guys uh yeah, enjoy your Sunday. Take it easy. Tell your family you love them. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go hang out with mine. So I'll catch you guys later.